Hello and welcome to this course on processes in Oracle integration. In this course, we are going to learn from scratch how to work with processes in Oracle integration. We are going to build the business processes or the workflows and integrate with Visual Builder as well as form integration. So we we'll learn step by step from scratch how we can start from the beginner and become expert in processes. First, let's know what does processes mean. Processes feature is used to rapidly design, automate and manage business processes in the cloud. Processes in Oracle integration is based on business process model and notation that is BPMN. In processes, there are two kind of environments in Oracle integration. One is a design time environment, which is also called as composer and the runtime environment, which is called as workspace. This processes in Oracle integration is mainly focused on three areas. One is my task page wherein you will get details of what and all tasks are available for your action. Next is the application that is the process application page where we can design and manage the application. So task is basically for managing the task. A process application is mainly for application administration where we can design and administer. Next is the authorization. We will learn how we can authorize the users to access particular lane based on the role for that particular applications. Coming to working with the task. So process enables organization to automate virtually any business process. Suppose you want to automate your leave application project or travel application project. You can do that easily with the help of processes in Oracle integration, wherein the user can provide the details with the help of process form like from date to date for the leave, reason for the leave and other details. So it will go to the approver like the manager and their manager. So once they approve the subsequent activities can be carried out. Those activities we can perform easily with the help of process. Also, this processes in Oracle integration has provision to work on the task. Suppose I apply for the leave application and it has gone to you for your approval. Suppose you are my manager. So manager can log into this processes and they can act on the task. We will learn how that happens later in this course. Also, we can set the preferences like if I want to reassign that particular task. Suppose the leave request came to me and I think that I am not the suitable person to approve or reject. I will reassign that task to some other person in the organization. Or if I am out of office, I want to reassign any activities coming to me to some other person. So and so forth. That things we could be done easily. There could be few issues like troubleshooting at the basic level. Like a user can't sign in, if user doesn't see an application to start, if user doesn't see the task, all these could be associated with the roles. That is what I told the authorization part. Like we have to work with our administrator for Oracle integration, basically for processes and add the appropriate roles for our user. We would like to thank you for watching the introduction for this course. For any query concern, you can mail us at benum.apps at the rate gmail.com or you can straight away message us on this platform and ask your queries. We hope you would enroll for this course and join us in this learning journey that is processes in Oracle integration. Once again, thank you and happy learning. In this class, we are going to walk through the documentation for processes in Oracle integration. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on processes. On the left hand side, there is a table of content wherein there are various divisions. As per our requirement, we can click one among and we can go through if you want to have a look at the documentation. So in this class, we are just focusing on the overview of the process. We will go on getting started with process and the end user task. Next is the developer task. This we will learn with the hands on series in the subsequent sections in this course. Let me click on this getting started with processes. Here you can see the topics which are there. You can click one by one and go. So the processes for Oracle integration, this is included when we provision Oracle integration instance. How to provision the Oracle integration instance? I will show you in the next section in the same course. We can follow same instruction and we can provision Oracle integration instance in the Oracle cloud. So it is available in the enterprise edition, not in the standard edition. As I told in our first class, there is a design time environment as well as the runtime environment. So the design time environment is called as the composer and the runtime environment is called as the workspace. 
So what and all features are available in design time environment you can have a look over here like it provides a business friendly GUI for that is for designing the process forms data decision model and the metrics. There is a quick start app feature as well. It's like a recipe. If you want to build like travel application, new application, Oracle has already created apps. We can just use that in our application instance and we can customize it for our particular customer or the project and we can create the apps within a few seconds or minutes. Also, we can test our environment before publishing it to run TAM. This feature is available in design TAM. How we can test any applications in design TAM. Coming to run TAM environment. Here we can view complete reassign delegate the task completely it's based on the task this is for the process application this is on the task side this will let you organize with the help of filters we will show you how to filters how we can sort the task and all and troubleshooting if any we can do that so it is not hard and fast tool that you must always know this business process model notation if you know it is well and good but if you don't know we can learn that from scratch not a prerequisite before starting with processors, it is good that you have knowledge on Visual and the rest because you might need to integrate with uh, any SOAP services or any web services in which the subservice definition is defined by the Visual. So it will be helpful and also it is a common use case we interact with the REST APIs while building processors, be it a Fusion, REST API or Vision SOAP services. So it's a good but not a hard and fast load. We can learn as and when we progress in this course. There are couple of roles over here like a service administrator it is having uh, all the access like access to all the process components monitor manage and all service developer is bound to developing and performing the task related to that application not on administering so administering having all the rights developer is having rights only to develop an application and check the task so service user or the end user is someone who can just start an application like submit a form or you can reassign or carry out few of the actions in the task those actions could be performed coming to to the my task page actually there are two sections my task and process application i will show you shortly what and all task a specific role can do it is highlighted over here like an end user what can do developer and administrator coming to process application space this page is where a developer will develop the applications even the admin will have access to check these applications so this process applications page is having options to create a new application import application also make use of quick start and create a app very quickly activate an application it is having a search filter if you are having lot of applications created we can search our application with the search field we can filter our applications we can update the list of applications etc what each segment in this ui is named as it is shown over here like this is the application this is the process owner if you click on these actions you are getting these options now we'll switch over to our oracle integration instance and show you how to navigate to processes i'm here in the oracle integration instance once you log into your oracle integration instance you will land into this home screen once you are in home screen you have to click on this navigator option or the menu you will get a lot of options over here we need to click on processes if you are going for process application also i told you there is my task section if you want to go to my task we need to click on this my task so this will open the my task page so here also if you don't see this left navigation menu you can click on this button it will open the navigation menu here under my task it will show all the tasks assigned to you under processes it will show all the processes or the task which has been created in this particular instance so it could be assigned to some other person all the details we can see over here as of now there are no such task created in this instance this is a fresh application under my application you will see all the applications which are currently active in this instance so if they, it is having a start with form kind of thing then we can click the apps available over here as of now there are no application if there are then just click on that and open the form and we can submit the form all those things we will learn how we can create an application activates you don't have to worry about that as we are going to learn step by step from scratch in this course this is just the overview you don't have to worry about that this is on the my task let me go back again we need to click on this navigation menu this time we need to go to processors last time we went for my task this time for processor so this will open up this screen process application decision models and the spaces spaces are nothing but it is like a virtual environment where application is bound to suppose i create one space and i create an application within that space then that space will only be visible to me i can share that 
space with other colleagues or the co-workers so that they can contribute if they are having the editor access. We can also share the spaces with someone in a viewer mode so that they can view our application and provide the feedback that also we can do. Let me click on this process applications. As I told this is having few of the options like the create. When we click on create it is having few options like we can just start with the quick start. It is having lot of recipes we can use one and we can start our application within a second or a minute. We can import an application suppose we are migrating an application from lower to higher environment. When you export any process it will export .exp file like integration it is exporting .ir file with processes it is exporting .exp file. We can import over here. Also we can create any application from scratch. We will learn all those three things of getting started with process applications in our later classes. Decision models is basically for taking the decision. We can build the complex decision models over here. Now let me go back to this documentation. We have seen how to navigate to process application, how to navigate to my task in Oracle integration under processes. Now coming to the end user task, this is related to my task, what we had seen in my task page in the process. So this process will enable the organizations to automate virtually any business process. Use it to start an application or work on the task you had been assigned. All those things you can do. A task would be like if I am the submitter, I can submit my new application and it will go to the manager. Manager can work on the task. He can approve or reject. All those things could be done. This is what it is mentioned over here. What can we do with the process as a user? You can do two main tasks. Start an application and complete the application. If any more information is requested and that request comes to us, we can update the details and again send that request back. We can start an application, act on the assigned task such as approve, reject, request, info. Other activities are also there that we will learn as and when we progress in this class. We can find the task as we had seen under processes in my task. We can filter search for the tasks which are created in the particular instance. Not only our task, we can view other people's tasks as well. We can upload the documents, we will learn how we can upload, suppose if you are taking any medical leave and we want to upload our medical prescription for taking the leave, that also we can do. Currently it supports uploading up to 1 MB file. We can set out of office routing, like I am out of office for 2 weeks, I am on vacation, any task which is routing to me, it has automatically route to some other person that we can do. This will learn how we can do that, it will be under my task, my apps. That is over here under my task, my apps, all the application which are currently active, it will be visible over here. We can select that and start the application. That is what it is mentioned over here. We can discard or save. So these things we will learn how we can modify the task, how we attach the document, approve, reject, all those things as and when we go ahead with this course. We had seen under my task, if any request is there in which we have to act on, it will show like this under my task. So there are few things like it will show the form in whatever presentation mode we have selected. We can put our comments, we can attach the documents. We can see the history like if it has gone to multiple approvers, we can know what was the history like what approver has done, if, whether they have straight away approved or it ha they have asked for more information. All those things we can view. We can escalate, re withdraw, reassign claims, suspend. So those actions we can perform as a human task. So there are few things over here we can filter and sort the tasks if there are more tasks in our my task page. Under my task if we are having a lot of uh, tasks to carry on then we can filter this is the filter icon we can filter there are a lot of options me and my group based on the date status and the higher priority those things are there you can just minimize we can also sort we can sort it by date and other details are also there like due on form user application ascending descending we can search for particular title from the task. So I'm skipping this filter and sort you can check on your own. Suppose if you want to send any email straight away from the comments there is a comment section in any task which assigned to some person so they can straight away write at the rate and provide the user id it can send the email directly we don't have to explicitly open our outlook or any other application to write the mail. So this we will learn how to do in practical we will learn. As I told we can attach the documents it supports up to 1 MB file to upload in case if any human work requires uh, to upload the document like uh, leave application requires uploading the prescription from the doctor that we can do. There are a few things like we can manage the task with the help of Oracle content management this won't, we won't cover in this course. We will see how we can reassign any task 
if we found that we are not the appropriate person also we can delegate a task so that other people also can work on the task apart from us so there is an option as i told if you are out of office we can go to preferences that is over here click on this here there is preference going to that we can select the reassign delegate and enable out of office we are out of office it will reassign the any task coming to us to some person that we can do under preferences also there is a mobile application for processors you can download it from ios and android stores so that is called as oracle process mobile you can follow this and you can work on your task on the go with the help of android and ios phones so more details you can look at this page as i told in order to troubleshoot any general issues like we can't sign in don't see an application it will be particularly with your roles or you might have enabled the caps lock on your computer and you have entered wrong password this could be only the things apart from this you won't face any issues while working on your task in processes in our next section we will learn how we can provision this oracle integration instance and also we will see in brief how to navigate from oracle integration instance to process applications page we have already covered this in this section also we will learn in detail and in subsequent sections we will go ahead with developing the process application first we will look at quick start then we will create from scratch and we will go ahead one by one and we will cover all the things whatever is mentioned in this document without wasting much time let's begin with our hands-on classes In this class, we are going to learn following topics. First, we are going to provision Oracle integration instance. Also, we are going to look at the documentation by Oracle on provisioning or creating Oracle integration instance. Now, let me switch over to this documentation page. So, I am here in the documentation page for provisioning and administering Oracle integration and Oracle integration for SAS Gen 2. On the left hand side, in the table of column we have to select this creating an oracle integration instance here oracle has documented the steps we need to sign into our oracle cloud infrastructure console this we have already seen in our previous chapter then we have to go to navigations under developer services we need to go for integrations then we need to select the appropriate compartment then we have to click on this create instance and there is a tabular data provided over here based on the requirement we need to select now let me switch over to OCI console. I am here in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure console. Now we need to click on this left hand corner button. It is the, or the hamburger menu. From here we need to select developer services. Under developer services, we need to select this integration. We need to select the appropriate compartment from the list of compartments where we want to have this instance created. Now we need to click on this create button over here first we need to provide the name i am giving learning 236 in the addition we need to select standard or enterprise let me switch over to this documentation page in the documentation there is a row with name addition we need to click on this oracle integration additions so it will open up this page here it will show you what and all features are available in standard and enterprise oracle integration products so in the standard we will be having integration visual builder standard adapters but in enterprise we will be having enterprise adapters process b2b insight file server support is also provided in standard and embedded recipes and accelerators so only difference between standard and addition is we won't get enterprise adapters we need to build our own custom solution in that case we won't have processes we cannot build the workflows b2b integration and integration with insights so accordingly we need to select i am selecting enterprise over here as we are having more features so if you are coming from a fusion middleware on-premise then you can use your own license that is nothing but bring your own license or you can create a new license or subscribe to a new oracle integration license by selecting this so here we can select the number of message packs we can increase or decrease from over from over here okay each message pack will have 5k messages for more details you can come to this table and you can check the row message packs here you will get more insight into what is a message pack i'm keeping this as one as of now now if you click on this show advanced options here under custom endpoint you can have your own custom endpoint but you need to upload the certificate for this host that you can place under vault and you can provide the secret from here 
also you can associate this with the tax for budgeting or costing purpose you can also restrict the network access you can with the help of the cider block ip addresses you can block the access to this instance once fill all the details you need to click on this create button i'm clicking on this create so our instance has been created that is learning 236 over here i'm clicking on this on clicking on the instance name it will open up the details page for you here if your file server is not enabled you will get an option to enable you can click on that so that the oic integration will have the dedicated file server or the ftp server created if you have selected the enterprise edition for oracle integration you will have an option for visual builder enabling so if it is not available at the time of creating then you can click on the enable it is enabled for me so if it is not enabled for you then you can click on the enable button so in my case this is publicly accessible i'm not restricting the access so if you come to the documentation page here it is showing how to access oracle integration instance so there is the details provided over here how to access the integration console so if you don't know how to do on this details page there is an option for service console you can click on this service console and this will open up the integration console in this class i am going to show you how to navigate to processes in oracle integration you can launch oracle integration home right from oracle cloud from the instance or oracle integration whatever we have created in our previous classes so once you land into this home page we need to click on this navigation menu so here we need to click on this processes if you are going to develop a process application in that case we need to click on processes if you want to work on our task then we need to click on my task i'm clicking on processes and selecting process application as we are going to build process application in our classes going ahead so this is how we have to navigate from oracle integration home screen to processes application for designing the applications in this class we are going to learn how to create our very first process application i have already logged into my oracle integration instance and i have navigated to processes from the home screen so under processes we need to click on process application like what we have seen in our previous class once you land into this applications page or the composer we need to click on this create button on the right top corner click on this here we are getting three options so in this section we are going to learn about creating process application with the help of quick start let me click on browse as i have told at the beginning of this course that is in the introduction for this course a quick start is nothing but it is like a recipe those are the recipes created by oracle we can make use of one and we can start developing or modifying those application as per our customers need or the business requirement and activate our application within few minutes or hours instead of developing this application from scratch for demonstration purpose i will consider this travel approval we need to click on this create if our requirement is to create and process application for travel approval so here i am going to name this as travel application so we can name whatever is needed as per our requirement spaces we can go for my space or you can create your own new space and give the name i have already created a space that is learn 123 if you want to create a new you can provide the name it will add this application in that particular process so that space will only be visible to you so whoever has created we can share that space with our colleagues or coworkers so that they also can see when they log in into their process applications page we will learn how we can share those spaces later in the course once you add the space click on create once our travel application is loaded you will see something like this screen with overview configure test and activate we can go for 
configure and we can modify few of the things as you can see there are few actions available in that process application like there is an activity that is submit travel request this should be the beginning of the process application wherein the user enters the details and submits the travel request then it goes to the approver as you can see name is approve request we need to always make sure we give the meaningful name to every action in the process application suppose if there is a resubmit then it will go to back to initiator suppose if the approver asks for resubmitting or if the approver asks for more information then it will go to whoever has submitted the request they can provide the details or modify the details and they can submit once again or the resubmit then it will again go to here as you can see with the sign over here that is a bell notification we'll learn in detail how we work with the notifications human task and all forms etc right now you may not be comfortable or you may not identify looking at the icon what does that signify this is the form this is the human task this is the notification and these are the rules if you see over here the role is employee lane and the approver lane basically this process application is designed in a lane wise i will show you how it looks so whoever uh, is assigned to that particular lane or the role will be able to take the actions now we can click on this any one task and modify as well i'm clicking on this and we can modify the name like here submit travel request i will give as test and the title when it comes to your task it will look something like this i will give as test just click on save and close we can modify other details as well like in the resubmit activity i will put the due date over here example over here we can add the due date after that date that task will expire I will put as two days click on ok if you want to send the reminders suppose if the approver has asked for more details it will go to my task if i don't log into my task page i will not know so in that case i will tell remind me once here we can tell the interval how many times and when it has to be remind after assignment or other things are also there like before due date expiration we can set it accordingly if it needs to be escalated or expired or those things we can define we'll learn later in detail one by one also you will get comfortable working on lot of application going ahead coming to the lane the role we can modify it will accordingly change let me name this as test and click on close let me save this application you are getting this page because we are making use of kickstart application if you are building from scratch you won't get this page when we click on our application from the process applications in order to know what this process is designed how the lane looks like how the activities look like we need to click on this switch to application view here we can see the process click on this as i was saying it is having couple of lanes over here we had renamed to employee lane to employee test approver to approver to we have not modified whoever is assigned with this role will be able to initiate the form and whoever is assigned with this approver role for this application will be able to approve reject this task as i was saying we had renamed this submit travel request to submit travel request test go to properties from here also we can change suppose if you are creating from scratch any application we have to make use of this application view only we won't get that configure only case of quick start app we are getting that things so this is a quick start if you want to see how the form looks like for the initiator you can click on this form click on edit you don't have to worry we will learn in detail step by step how we can build similar application later in this course click on this preview you can just preview the application how it will look in the small devices how it will look in the mobile and in the medium devices large devices all those things you can see again to build the form you can just drag and drop so this is nothing but estimated cost is nothing but the money travel date you can see over here the date all those things have been dragged and dropped it over here and if you want to modify any of the properties you can select this and modify accordingly on the left side let me go back to our process in process as well this has been created just by dragging and dropping like this resubmit it is under here just drag and drop this human task is nothing but the approve under human you have to drag and drop so under the system over here you will find this notification that we need to drag and drop 
in order to put it over these are the gateways we'll learn in detail later point of time also the properties could be modified from here as well go to open properties from the actions so whatever we had seen like the expiration notification all those things we can add from here as well like the reminders like if you want to send the reminder after assignment what we had modified from the config and we can modify from here as well let me go back so clicking on go back it will take you to process application to click on this process travel application as this travel application is created with the help of quick start we are seeing this page else it will straight away take you to switch to application view in case we have created application from scratch so in this class we had seen how to create any application with the help of quick start also we had seen how we can make use of this configure and modify the details also we had seen how we can do similar configuration by going into the application view and modify the details over there as well in our next class we will see how to test this application as i was saying in the introduction for this course in the composer or the design time environment we are having a feature to test our application before publishing or activating that we will learn in our next class in this class we are going to learn how to test the application in the design environment going to switch to application view if you go to switch to application you will find the test button over here you can click on that and you can test that application if you are making use of quick start from the same screen you can test by clicking on this test first of all you have to activate your application you need to select add me to all, all roles because we had two roles as we had seen employee and the approver two lanes were there so basically we are adding our user to both the roles so that we can take appropriate action now we need to click this try in test mode so it will open the new tab on your browser If you see over here, it will take us to my task under my task, my apps. Previously, when we went to my apps, we were not seeing anything. Now we are having this application. When we clicked on activate, it has activated our application in testing mode. If you see test mode is on. So we are seeing my under my apps, our application. Click on this. Once you are activated at that time also, you will find actual activated or the live applications. If you go to my task and my apps. If you see over here, we are having the form what we had seen in the previous class. Here I will put the name, first name, last name, email address we will put at gmail.com. Date from when to when we have to take that I am putting over here. Estimated cost I will put as $10. Justification I will put vacation done if you want to upload any file you can just upload and attach over here i'm clicking on submit i will create one more request over here by clicking on the same app when in i will put the cost as hundred dollars our approver has to reject that application okay now this way i will put first name learning email address gmail.com and end date i will just modify clicking on this and date 18th of August 2022 cost I will put as $100 justification is going to India attachment if you want you can attach click on submit we have created two travel requests over here now I have to go to my task as I had added my user to both the roles while activating if you had seen I had checked mark that add me to all the roles I am seeing two tasks which I have to perform or act on. If you see under my task, my task as, as I was saying, we will find the activities which are assigned to us. Let me click on the first. It will open the form. Now if you see this is for 100, I will put the comment like rejected cost is high. Post the comment. If you want to send the mail as I was showing, you can just put at and you can provide the user ID. It will send the mail. Now let me click on reject so this task upon taking action it will be rejected as you can see that task has gone now the next task is for 10 i can optionally put the comment as well approved and click on approve it will approve my request so like this how we can test an application in design time environment and also we had seen how the task will look like under my task 
how we need to initiate under my apps we will see how the application will look in actual case also it will come over here in the my apps we can click any application and we can initiate the form in our next class we will learn how we can activate our application now let's come out of this testing mode click on this x upon clicking on this close mark if it doesn't take you to this screen then you can just go to home page for Oracle integration and then from there we can navigate back to this application test so like this we can test our application in testing mode in this class we are going to learn how to activate or publish our application if we found that our application works fine after testing with the test mode in design time environment we can activate so in order to activate we need to click on this activate so this is applicable only for the quick start app if you are making use of uh, application which we are built from scratch then you can switch over to application view and click on activate you will see a button over here so it will take you to same page what you are seeing we need to click on this activate new version here it will ask for the snapshot if you have previously published then you can select the last publish and click on validate click on the options here we need to provide the version as i am publishing for the first time i am giving as 1.0 and we need to click on this activate We will get a message that our application is active. This click on finish. If you look at this documentation for activating the quick start app, you will see a lot of details available over here. It says if you enter the same revision number as an existing instance, then you must also check override checkbox. Otherwise, it will fail. So we have to make sure whenever we activate, if we are activating for the second time, then we make sure we override. So let me activate this new version. Click on this activate new version. Click on validate, click on the options, here let me give as 1.0, click on activate, like this you will get an error saying composite with same version already exists, please use a different version, so in that case we need to go for newer version like 1.1 or 1.0.1 also you can go, click on activate. click on finish so currently both are active we can just deactivate one from the applications page that we will learn later now since we have activated our application we can go back to our process application suppose you have activated two applications side by side then if you want to deactivate any one application then what you can do is once you are in the process application page you need to click on this activate so once you click on activate you will see all the applications in your instance which are active so as of now i'm having two applications which are active 1.0 and 1.1 1.1 is a default in order to deactivate this click on this option you can just go for retire or deactivate i'm going for retire click on s if you want to after retiring if you want to deactivate you can deactivate as well click on s so like this you can activate deactivate retire an application if you have multiple application versions now you have to follow the usual course we have to go for my task under my apps we can start the form you can fill the request and you can carry out the task like what we had seen in our previous class suppose after activating under my apps if you are not able to see your application then what you have to do is we need to add your user to the role like in our application we had two roles one is a approver another one is a employee we need to go to my task under that we need to go to administration so once you are in the manage roles under administration we need to search for our application in our case we had two lens approver and the employee we need to click on add member and add the details i am adding 
my user id in both the approver and the employee and i am clicking on save let me add and resume this class I have added my user ID in both the roles that is for approver and employee by clicking on add member on clicking on this it will ask you to select your employee ID by with the help of email ID or username with which you are accessing your instance. Once you add you need to click on save it will reflect over here under names. So once done we will go back to our my task. So we will go to my apps. This time if you go to my apps you will see our application that is submit travel request test listed over here once you add your user to the roles click on this it will open the form you need to fill up the details like what we had done in the testing mode and click on submit it will go to my task and the approver can take the appropriate action and this will go ahead same like that how we have tested in our previous class. So like this we can add our role to the user and we can enable the authorization based on roles in the case of process applications. In our classes so far we had seen how to build process application with the help of quick start apps. In this class we will learn how we can publish our application as a quick start app so that others can make use of our application as a quick start app and modify and build their application in couple of seconds. I have considered the same application which we have considered. Even we can promote our application which is created from the quick start app as a quick start app to the gallery. We can do that by clicking on these options on the right top corner and select as convert to quick start master. Even we can switch to application view, select our process. From application view as well we can promote our application or convert to quick start master. For that we need to click on this navigation menu on the right top corner and click on this convert to quick start master. Click on X. Here it will ask for properties whatever name you provide over here will be reflected in the quick start gallery. If you want to upload or change the image you can do that clicking on this upload image. Description we can provide this is a demo to show how to promote our app as a quick start master. If we want to allow our users to switch to advanced view we can select that. If you don't want to allow we can uncheck that. Expand this personalize and here we can modify and allow the users what they can personalize when they use this quick start app. For example in the employee lane Suppose we want to change the label. I want this to be written as employee test lane and the title also I want to change this to something called employee test lane. Here we can select what we want to personalize. From here we can select the process. In the type it is allowing us to select the lane or the activity. I want the lane because employee is a lane which we want to modify. From here we can choose the role and click on done. So like this we can modify if we want to add some other personalization for any other action we can do that. I want to modify the completed completed change action. So here also I am putting the same thing that is completed change action. So this is of type process from here we need to select what process if we are having multiple processes within our application we can select. Type is an activity from the item I am selecting completed. So like you see other actions as well or the activity they are also created in the same way. Should users be allowed to disable this item yes or no I will populate over here. If the user wants to modify they can modify. Now we have to select this approve request activity. If you scroll down this will ask what and all details a user will be allowed to modify. Should user be allowed to disable this item if you want the user to disable we can select accordingly. If you click on this choose here it will ask what and all details user will be able to modify. Here we have selected everything. If you don't want the user to modify the due date, we can just uncheck this and click on done. So that the user won't see the property for due date. Escalation and expiration is shown but due date is gone. Accordingly, we can select what things or the properties a user will be allowed to modify. Once you are happy with all the personalization and property details, we should click on this promote. So it will ask for the snapshot. So this snapshot name whatever you give 
is not used to display in the quick start app gallery but this is used for just for snapshot purpose whatever name you provide in the properties page that is over here that only will be visible in the quick start gallery once done click on this promote you will get a message saying we saved a snapshot of your process application its name is so and so we have promoted this snapshot to the gallery as a quick start app its name in the gallery is travel application 2.0 Let's verify whether it has really pushed the application or promoted the application to gallery or not. Let me go back. In order to verify our quick app, we need to click on this create button. Select this start with quick start app. And now from this gallery, we have to check where is our application. Travel application 2.0 is not there in this space. Click on next. Yeah, there is travel application 2.0. This is our application which we had pushed to gallery. We have to click on this create. Provide the name travel application 2.0 quick start. Then click on create. Like we had seen in our previous case, we are getting options for like overview, configure, test and activate. Let's go to configure. We had modified for approve request activity lane. Let me click this. We shouldn't get the due date. As you can see, we are not getting the due date. But when we make use of travel application, which is available out of the box in our processes for our actual integration, there you will find due date property available for customization or configuration in approve request activity. But here we disabled it. So like this we can promote any application to quick start master. This will be helpful. Suppose you are developing a hiring application or a process workflow. Which is same across all the teams like the sales, marketing, HR, development. So that you can develop a common workflow or the process application. Which could be used for hiring any employee across the department. So that the person or the manager can modify the process according to their need. So that they don't have to develop any process application from scratch. If we have a look at documentation. So here under personalize and promote quick start application to gallery. All the details are mentioned whatever I have explained. If you want to promote your application as a sample that also possible. This we are not covering. Just we need to click on this promote to gallery. Instead of convert to quick start master for this case. If you want to know more about the components in application you can have a look like what is the structured process what is a dynamic process what do you mean by form form is nothing but it is used to get the inputs from the user what are the business types we will learn business types in detail in our course going ahead these are used to create the objects like suppose we are creating one application which accepts lot of data for example employee onboarding it will ask for the first name last name birth date and lot of details so that we can create a business type which will hold so many details and so that we can make use of business type and create data objects or you can make us make use of this business type in order to supply the data from the form if we are having a complex decision to be taken then that we can design with the help of decision so that we don't have to write if then rule in the process so that we can minimize the conditional check complexity out from the process and it will look the process workflow very neat and clean Integration, we can make a call to integration from within the process. Also, we can make a call to REST or SOAP web services from within the process. We will learn how we can do that shortly. Business identifiers, we can use this to capture and display metrics specific to our process. We will learn how we can do that. Documents, we can create. Uh, this we are not going to cover as we are not using Oracle content management. But we will surely see how we can upload any file to process. Also, we will learn how we can retrieve the files which are attached in the process with the help of APIs and store in the database. All those stuffs we will learn. Manage the development life cycle. We had seen what are the spaces. Spaces are nothing but the groups. Spaces group related application and enable the users to collaborate when developing applications. We had created our travel application in the group space. Learn 1 to 3. So now learn 1 to 3 is visible only to us. If you want to share that to some other person, we can do that. I will show you in our classes going ahead how we can do that. Always it is a good practice to document our applications. We had seen how we can play that is the test mode. We can test an application, activate the application. 
if you want to change the locale of the browser you can do that going to the preferences also we can set the out of office things like for reassigning the any tasks all those stuff we can do right from the preferences we are not going to cover in detail about this so this is in brief how we can do that click on this icon select this preferences change the computer locale and click on ok In this class, we are going to learn what are the various options, commands or the components available in the application home tab. I have opened the travel application which we have created in our previous section of this course. In application home tab, there are basically four sections. One is the application toolbar, whatever you see over here, this is the application toolbar. Then comes the components pane, then comes the information pane. If you click on this, there is the information provided like what is the application name and created by details and then there is this recent activity pane these are the four building blocks of any application in process application coming to the application toolbar here we get the options to test our application in the composer or design tab environment we can play with our application also we can test this application in a test mode there is a publish option available in order to publish our application and to share across our team we can publish this application so that the changes will reflect to other developers with whoever you have shared the space with also we can activate the application and make the application live so that we can consume in the real production environment we can close as well as we can save the changes then next comes the components pane here we are having options like processors we can view what are the processors available in this application we can play around with the forms we can build the forms presentations there is this business type we can create the objects data objects with the help of business types over here we can create the decision models over here insights we can communicate with integration and also with the connectors or any rest api soap web services with the help of integration there is this indicator that is to get the insight we will learn how we can make use of indicators there is this localization feature if you want to make this application available to regional languages that we can do with the help of localization and if you click on all it will basically list all the components available for this application this was about the components pane we have seen what is application toolbar now if you click on this information pane We are getting the information under general properties like what is the application name we can click on this globe icon and change the localized name then it will tell at what time this application was created and by whom if you want to add more languages we can do that by clicking on this add locales we can click on this organization and quick start view if you want to go back to quick start app view we can click on this organization in order to manage the application roles this we will learn in the subsequent classes this is the third that is information pane and the fourth one is the recent activity here we will get the snapshots available for this application if you just click on this you will get the list of all the imported new projects from restful web services all those things what is the initial revision let me click on this snapshot if you want to create a snapshot we can just click on this plus and create a snapshot we will learn in the subsequent classes basically it will list all the snapshots available for this application apart from this there is one more tab available in this application home that is bpmn in order to work with any process we are having bpmn activities over here like the submit approve notify events those things we drag and drop from the bpmn view also when we work with the component there is the component palette available so these are the basic building blocks or the tabs or the views which we must be familiar with before going ahead with building any applications with process in this class we are going to learn what are quick start apps in process application we have already created an application with the help of quick start travel application or the approval application in our previous section so oracle has created those quick apps as a ready to go 
applications so that we can make use of the properties available in that application and build our application within few minutes or hours. So in order to get the gallery of applications available in quick start apps we need to click on this create browse start with quick start and click on browse over here. So in the gallery Oracle has provided the set of standard applications which we can use as a as is application or we can modify this application as per our business need by modifying the properties of the application or when we consume this application by clicking on create which we had seen in our previous class there is an option to personalize the application we can personalize as per our business read and we can deploy the application also we can make use of this application and deploy as is if we don't want to modify the workflow of the application so this gallery consists of quick start as well as sample both are available in the same page for more details you can anytime go over to the documentation by oracle for processes in oracle integration there you will get proper guidance as and when this gallery details are updated by oracle in this class we are going to learn the basics of application creation how to validate the application how we can save the changes made to the application this is on the overall and in brief in detail we will learn as and when we go ahead in this course and build our application from scratch with the actual business use cases. In order to create any process application there is a create button over here in the processes menu under process application option. We need to click on this create as we had seen there are three options we can import an application from any other environment. We can create an application we can make use of quick start with the help of sample and the quick start master we can create our application. So let me create from scratch one application let me name this as travel application create and the space i will select whatever we had created in our previous class we can check this open immediately so that our process will open immediately when we click on this create this we had checked in our previous case let me uncheck this time and click on create this time it won't open our composer it has just created and we are back to our process applications page in order to open we need to explicitly click on this travel application create we need to click on this so let me create one structured process we will learn what is structured and unstructured later point of time i will directly select start with the form I will write here travel process and click on create. In order to add any activity just to complete this application, I will drop one notify over here. In order to save the changes done to your application, we need to click on this save. So it is always a good practice to save the application as and when we make any changes. Also you will see the last save tab. If you don't save the changes will be lost. So when we create any application from scratch the roles in the swim lane will be empty. In order to add the roles like employee approver we had two lanes over here in our quick start application which we had created. In order to add just double click over here and here we need to write like employee. This will be one role. If you are creating another lane just double click over here and change the process owner to whatever name suits okay like i will write just owner and click on enter if you want to change the color of this that also you can do just click on this edit and you need to change the color let me change it to some standard color if you know the hex code then you can write over here i will just change it to some random colors okay if you see the color is changed so like that you can change the colors and one more thing always make sure you have to just save this application every time you shouldn't forget to save anytime you can test the application you can just click on display and play with the process that you can do also you can test in test mode as well and one important thing is if you want to know what are the errors are there in your process application you need to click on this validate application from the main menu just click on this 
now it will list all the errors available in order to take the action just click on the fix it will take you to the appropriate place like it has directly taken me to this notify under notify under implementations so we can make use of this validate application in order to know the errors suppose if you want to discard any changes done since you last published your application you can just click on this discard suppose i am clicking on this publish i am selecting make a snapshot test publish i will write click on publish it is asking for snapshot name i am giving as snap 1.0 click on publish now if i do some other changes like dropping the abstract and going to this main menu and clicking on discard it will list all the changes what we have done since the last published i'm clicking on discard changes i'm clicking on travel process now if you see we have only just the notify another abstract which we had dropped it has gone also we created the snapshot that will be visible over here now go to recent activities go to snapshots so it is available over here in this class we are going to learn what are snapshots in process applications snapshots are nothing but these are the read only copies of your application which you need to create in order to know what was your application state at that particular point of time when we clicked on this publish in our previous class we created the snapshot so that snapshot will always be there or persisting in your application in order to view what and all snapshots you have created and if you want to go back to that particular snapshot at any particular given point of time you can always do in order to get the list of all the snapshots available for your project you need to click on these options over here go to recent activities if it is general property just toggle it to recent activity and click on snapshot here you will see we are having only one snap which is created around 56 am that is for publishing i will create one more snap it is always good practice to write the documentation i will just provide same thing but in your case you should write why you have created this snap click on add as you see we are getting another snapshot it is created at 24 am so if you want to know what was our application state at that particular point of time we just need to click on this snap hyperlink so it will open that particular snapshot in read only mode as snapshot is the read only view of your application as you can see this is showing as read only and the snapshot name will be there if you click on this information pane we are getting the details for that particular snap now click on this process so basically this will have the details for forms business types decisions everything what was persisting for that particular point of time when you created the snapshot now just click on this close in order to come out of this snapshots read only view In this class we are going to learn what are application roles and the business parameters in any process application so whatever you see over here these are the application roles which we have created employee and the owner there is one more place or the common repository where application roles are managed in order to access that click on this options after clicking on options you need to click on this organization here it says application roles so by default two roles will be automatically created for you that is the process owner and the reviewer if you want you can just keep or you can just delete selecting this and delete now employee which we have created there is an option to delete but the process reviewer and the owner this comes seeded by oracle when we create any applications in processes so it is not allowing me to delete so whatever we create as a custom role we can delete that we can create the roles over here then we can associate over here as well so vice versa we can do once you create this employee and rename it to employee test over here then employee will always be there employee test is one more created over here the role you need to make sure you clean your application regularly that is the junk or the unused variables roles parameters you clean from your application when you move the code to production at the time of development you will create lot of roles parameters play around with the forms types decisions which you may not actually use 
while pushing your code to production. So make sure you just clean your code so that the code will always be maintainable for the people whoever handles this code in the future. Now click on this business parameter. So here we can create the parameters which could be used across the application. So in order to create any business parameter click on this plus. Let me give the name as interest rate. It is of type number or the double I can give. So interest rate I will give as 4.5 and click on add. It is asking me to give everything in caps. Let me give in everything in caps. Interest rate. Click on add. So we can create the business parameters like this and make use of this parameter across the application. Suppose any changes needed, we can just come over here and change the parameter value. So business parameter, whatever you have created, it will be available under data association. So let me open the data association for anything. So not to worry what is data association, we will learn how to make use of data association and how we can transfer the data from one activity to another activity in the business process. Just expand this business parameter. It will always be over here. You can make use of this business parameter and you can transform the data and send to one activity to other activity like this. In this class, we are going to learn how we can share a space with our colleague or a team member so that they also can contribute or view our application. I am here in the process application page under processes. In order to share this space that is learn123 wherever we have created our application to another co-worker or colleague, we have to click on this administration tab. Click on this. Here you will get the list of all the spaces available in your tenancy. Our space that is learn123 is over here. In order to share the space, we need to click on this icon that is under actions. I am clicking on this share icon. This is going to open this pop-up. So here it is showing my user as a owner. If you want to add any other user, just we need to search from here and click on choose. So it will open up another tab over here. Here we need to search for a user. Click on search, select that and click on OK. So once you do that, you can select the type of access or the role you want to share with that person. You can make the person as owner, editor and the viewer. Viewer is read only, editor will be able to edit. Owner can delete the application as well. So you should be very careful when you assign these roles to the particular person. Also you can delete the space from here. Just click on this delete. So when you delete this space, all the contents within that space will be deleted, even the application. I'm clicking on this F. Let me go back to process application and check whether our application got deleted or not. As you can see, we are not having now quick start application, which we had created in our previous class. So like this, we can share the space with colleagues or co-workers. Also, we can delete the space, which will delete all the applications. In this class, we are going to learn how to export an application from an instance and import the application to another instance. So this will be useful while you migrate your code from lower environment to higher environment like development or test instance to production instance. In order to export any application, you have to go to process applications within processes. So if you hover over this section under creation date, you will get this actions menu. Click on this action menu and click on this download. If you observe, we are getting this .exp file downloaded to our local computer. Now, before importing, we just need to make sure we don't have this application. I am deleting this from my instance as I don't have any other instance to demonstrate this use case. Consider that I have logged into a newer instance where I don't have that particular application. So, in order to import, I need to click on this create. So, there is an option called as import an application. Click on this import application. From here, we need to select the file. I am selecting that file which I have downloaded in the previous step over here. It's over here. Select this file. Click on open. You need to select the space where we want to import this. I am selecting learn123 and clicking on import. So this is going to create an application in learn123 as you can see travel application create. So like this we can migrate an application from one instance to another instance. In this
this class we are going to learn how to download a detailed report of your process application with the help of generate application reports in processors so in order to export the report click on any application i'm clicking this travel application create from the list of processors you need to select the process for which you want to download the report we are having only one i'm clicking on this travel process so if you want to download the report of this process like the documentation properties and the activities involved in this process then we need to click on this main menu over here and click on this process report if you want to show the documentation there is documentations for each and every activity in the process if you want to include that we need to select this if you want to add the property details as well we need to select this so this will basically list all the properties for each and every activity in the flow here the output type html pdf xml so i am selecting pdf you want to select any other you can do that from here you can select if you want the detailed business process report only the business requirements issues and the comments data objects all those things are available you can do that and if you want to process image only you can do that as well i am selecting this detailed business report as i want the detailed business process report for each and every activity be it the documentation property for this process i am clicking on ok as you can see it has generated a report for me in the pdf format we can save the file from here it is saying what are the roles available you can just check from here what are the business objects as we created the quick start app it has created a few business objects for us what is the description in our case it is empty so it is putting end user documentation it has just put snapshot of our process over here links if any if we have added it has put start what is the data object it will list we are having one interest rate in the business parameter then it has listed coming to the properties like implementation title description all those things whatever you put will be visible over here next we had the notification action so that it has put and there was the end activity coming to the services it was making use of this send email notification that is as part of the notify action it has created the details for each and every activity in our process from this document you will know what and all activities you are having the documentation the property everything so like this we can export the detailed report of a process for processes in oracle integration so this comes out of the box you don't have to create your own report if this is sufficient then you can make use of this report and share with your customer and for documentation purpose In this class, we are going to learn what are the various documentation options available while creating a process application. There are basically three documentations available. One is at the process level, another is a application level and at the activity level. At the process level, in order to access, if you see at the bottom right corner, you will see a restore pane. We need to click on this so that it will open up the window like this. So here we can make use of this documentation editor and we can document it very neat and clean way click on business properties then you can add the link if you are having a documentation somewhere created you can just click on this plus icon over here you can provide the url like the sharepoint online word google sheet all those things you can provide and the type you can select what it is of type and you can link your documentation over here so this is one of the way to document your process application this was the first second is at the application level when you create an application there is an option to create the description like here we will add some description so this will be at the application level and third one is at the activity level just click on this open properties there is this option called as documentation so at each and every activity you will find this documentation available it's always a good practice to document your process application so that it will help the person whoever is maintaining this code in your absence or the support person in your respective project whoever was not part of the development they will find those notes and the documentation very helpful while maintaining and the last option is with the help of bpnm that is note activity just drag and drop it over here and you can provide the note something like this is 
minimize or maximize like this and you can modify the message so and so message you can just drag and drop it anywhere wherever you find this message is intended to like i want this note to be present next to notify then i can drag this next to notify so these are the ways how we can document our process application here is the big announcement for our subscribers and viewers we are launching membership program for binam learning you may now join binam learning as a member and get exclusive perks or the rewards in order to know more or join and be a member you need to go to our channel after landing into our channel page you need to click on this join when you click on join you will get various membership plans accordingly you can select and unlock the perks or the rewards which are available for that particular membership for more details you can anytime come over to our page and click on this join button similar steps you can follow over the phone as well you can go to our channel there you will find the join button you need to click and check the memberships and select one among the many and become a member of binam learning channel it includes various perks like exclusive videos only for members early access of videos to members and lot of other perks available if you are happy with our content and want to thank us or support us you can straight away come to this link and you can buy us a coffee like 1 3 5 so these numbers are equivalent to us dollars if you want to buy more coffees you can just enter the number over here and click on buy we would like to thank all our subscribers viewers and members for showing your support and constantly helping us by giving your valuable feedback so that we bring good content to you regularly thank you once again and happy learning